And now, for everyone's favorite game show, it's Two Whats and a Wow! Two what's and a wow. Two what's and a wow. The scientific game show that separates the wows from the what's. <laughs> and the category for today is adaptation. What? Adaptation. It's how living things change based on their situations. You know, like how warm fur on polar animals is part of what helps them to survive and thrive. Now, Mindy, why don't you remind our contestants on how the game works? You know it. Wowzers, in each of our three rounds today, Guy Raz and I will present you with three scientific statements about adaptations. But, and this is a big but, (laughs) only one of those statements will be a true wow. The other two, just a couple of made up what? In each round, if you guess correctly, congratulations, you get a point. But if you guess incorrectly, you must stop, drop, and do a ridiculous physical challenge. Okay, everyone ready to start the game? Great, let's do it. Okay, round one. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A? 30,000 years ago, wild dogs had thumbs to help them fight predators. Or is it B? Certain trees can turn themselves into cacti if planted in a desert. Or is it C? During a drought, African lungfish can survive without water. When you think you have the correct answer, breathe it onto a window and write it in the fog. (laughs) Reggie? Cue the thinking music. And time is up. Let's reveal the winning wow. And to do just that, joining us by phone, it's Blake from Michigan. Blake from Michigan, tell us, what's the wow? My wow in the world is that during a drought, African lungfish will dig into the mud and coat themselves with a slime-like mucus that hardens to keep them alive during the drought. Winner, winner, box of tissues for dinner! Thank you, Blake! Contestants, if you guessed the answer C, that during a drought, African lungfish can survive without water, you found the winning wow. Congratulations. You see, African lungfish have some bonker balls adaptations to help them survive. First of all, these fish have two lungs and can breathe air. This is especially important since they live in floodplains and waterways that often dry up. But that's where their life-saving mucus comes in. These lungfish will wrap themselves in a cocoon of their very own mucus. This mucus cocoon can give them the protection they need to survive outside of water for a year or more. In the meantime, they breathe using their lungs until rain refills its waterway. Now, if you guessed correctly, congratulations, you get a point. But if you did not guess correctly, you must stop drop, and jump on one foot while spelling your name backwards. (laughs) Okay, on to round two. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, some geckos lick their own eyeballs to keep their eyes moist in dry temperatures? Or is it B, snowy owls cover themselves in their own poop to help camouflage themselves in snow? Or is it C? Flatulence is an adaptation that animals have developed as a defense mechanism. I should note that flatulence is just a fancy word for that sound. Okay, 
When you think you have the correct answer, say it as slowly as you can. Reggie, sound the thinking music. And time is up! It's now time to reveal the winning wow. With us is Ethan from New Zealand. Ethan, tell us, what's the wow? My wow in the world is that a New Zealand green gecko has a powerful tongue that it licks its eyes to clean with. Winner, winner, eyeballs for dinner! I mean, meatballs for dinner! Thank you, Ethan! Contestants, if you guessed the answer A, that some geckos lick their eyeballs, you found the winning wow. Congratulations! Mm. Geckos actually do this because most of them don't have eyelids. No eyelids means that they can't blink, so they have to clean their eyes in other, more creative ways. Licking their eyes also helps to keep them moist. A plus for good thinking, geckos. And wowzers, remember, if you didn't get the answer correct, we have a physical challenge for you. If you did not pick the correct answer, you must stop, drop, and lick your own eyeball. Wait, wait, I almost got it, I almost got it. Well, Mindy's attempting to lick her own eyeball. We should probably take a moment to thank one of our sponsors for today. Uh, today's show is brought to you in part by Inside Out Burritos? All the delicious fillings you love, but twice the mess. Okay, uh, well, uh, time for round three. Which of the following statements is a true scientific wow? Is it A, goats sneeze to warn each other of danger? Or is it B, elephants adapted big ears to cover their eyes while they sleep? Or is it C, zebras have black and white stripes to help them match with everything? When you think you have the correct answer, say it out loud in your favorite cartoon character's voice. (laughs) Reggie, cue the thinking music. Time is up. Let's reveal the winning wow. We've given you time to decide on the correct answer. And to reveal that winning wow now, please welcome Kaya from Canada. Kaya, tell us what's the winning wow. Goats sneeze to warn each other, warn others of danger. Winner, winner, gazoot for dinner. Thank you, Kaya. Contestants, if you guessed the answer A, that goats sneeze to warn each other of danger, well, congratulations. That's right. Goats use their super sneeze powers as a way of sounding the alarm when they feel that they're in danger. But sometimes they just sneeze for sneezing's sake. It must get really confusing around allergy season for goats. Better to be safe than sorry, I guess. I guess. Well, if you guessed this round correctly, congratulations. Give yourself another point. But if you did not guess correctly, you must stop, drop, Find the nearest pair of shoes, put them on your hands, and clap three times. What was that? That sound can mean only one thing. It can't be danger. I didn't hear any goats sneezing. It means it's time for today's Bonker Balls bonus round. And the question for this round is... What does the fox say? I don't know. What does it say? This is not a joke, Mindy. It's the bonus question. Oh, right. And there's an answer? Well, uh, congratulations to all of our winning contestants on today's show. And with that, we're sending everyone home today with a fabulous invisible prize. Reggie, roll out the prize generator. 
here's the thing about the prize generator. I invented this thing as a way to get a surprise every time we turned it on. But the real surprise is that it spits out the surprise in three different parts. So it's kind of up to you to put it together. So, in other words, it's broken? It's broken. Reggie, ready to power this puppy up? Is it supposed to be making that noise, Mindy? All of our contestants today will be taking home their very own Invisible Pizza Flavored Panda Pants! Wait, what? Mindy, I really think you need to fix this prize generator. Well, that's just about all the time we have for today. But before we go, we have a little steam-themed challenge for you we like to call Comfort to the Max. We challenge you to invent something that would make your life a little bit more comfortable, a little easier. Like a pair of shoes that massages your feet as you walk. Or how about a bowl that cools your soup when it's too hot? Whatever it is, think about how this invention could help you and your fellow humans to adapt to new situations or surroundings. And don't forget to take a photo or video of what you come up with. Grown-ups, you can upload pictures and videos to us at tinkercast.com slash share. And be sure to come back on Monday for a brand new episode of Wow in the World, and again on Friday for a new episode of Two What's and a Wow. Until then, keep on wowing!